Now, for people that you may not know who Barry Seal is, if you want to put up the movie American Made so they know what movie American Made played by uh, Tom, uh, Cruise. Tom Cruise. I, did you see? Have you seen the movie or not? Yes. It's a great movie, by the way. You uh, think so? I thought it was a good movie. I mean, obviously, the story <laughs> of... Uh, Were you not a fan? Uh, Oh, it was just terrible. It was just, really? Oh, yeah. Well, of course you would say that because because it's your life, meaning you lived it. So you know more details than the guys that It was just the movie. stupid. Like if, okay, if you got, got $30 it. million dollars in the airplane, you're going to bet $10 he can't take off because the runway's too short. Who could even think of such a thing? Yeah. You're going to put guns to his head and take his sunglasses? That just pure crazy and then all these planes running through the yeah i i pioneered that course through the run through the oil wells and they're going to talk to the dea how, how are you going to know what channel they own I mean, just like it's going to go different so you're saying a lot of that movie was just kind of far-fetched yeah, unbelievable somebody somebody sitting in a, uh, a rocking chair and read something and uh-huh. said how could it have been did you did you look at tom and say he reminds me of barry or not at all oh not at all really nothing barry looked like looked like a statesman barry looked like um Somebody should have been a, a governor or a really? senator. Yes. Like a Clinton, like a Bill Clinton type of guy. Even better. Good looking. Yeah, and really smart. Well uh, spoken. Oh, you know, beautiful smoking. Hmm. He's just gentle, southern gentleman, nice man as you would ever meet. Just really. Unbel- really. So, so you, guys, you guys get hooked up. At this point, who, who has more power and more money between the two of you? Or is it a different kind of power and money? Barry you- worked completely for me. I paid him a salary. You, so Barry uh, uh, pay, worked for you. You paid him his salary. Yes. And he's flying for you at this time. That's right. Okay. When all that happened. But, boy, we got so many years. We, we've jumped over there. So be, between <laughs> those years of jumping over, what happened there? Did you have any kind of connection at this point from Mexico to now you're doing stuff with Ochoa or Pablo? Has anything happened yet or not yet? No, nothing's happened to them until, uh, I guess, 1980. But I, I did, uh, uh, I got a Twin Beach airplane. A friend of mine says, okay, you got shot down and you're shot up. Let me buy you a Twin Beach. They brought me a beautiful one from, I met the tw- the Beach Boys and bought their airplane. That thing was lovely. And I uh, went to Atlanta and picked my wife up and the red carpet was rolled out. And that thing was just absolutely, it's like that red one over on the right. Hmm. But back then, that was so nice. And I still like that best of all of the airplanes I flew. And, uh, yes, and so then I could I could haul uh, about 2,500 pounds, and I just haul load after load after load. And they uh, started Operation Star Trek, and they put these trucks on the little hills all across the border from Galveston to Tijuana. But then I'd, I would go out in the middle of Baja, 400 miles south of San Diego, and go out two or 300 miles and come in behind the islands of Santa Barbara and come up and go out in the desert and unload. Just never had any problem whatsoever. So it looked like I had it's like I had a license. How many it. people were working for you at that time? Nobody. It's still a one man show. Just a one man show. So always this is, was. So always was. This is still a one man show. So at this time, um, are you having the big life? Do you live in a big house? Do you have the nice clothes? Are you partying with the right people? Are you being invited to celebrity stuff like that or no you're living a very low-key nobody knows like the it's like the millionaire next door or or instead it's a trafficker next door nobody (laughs) would know who you are is that kind of how it was or no i don't know kind of a mix we had a nice home in santa barbara kind of you know in hope ranch a really nice home what what is what does that nice home mean to well it was something one hundred eighty thousand dollars back then and it's like 15 million dollars now okay so that's a really nice home it's a really nice home yeah yeah, 15 million dollar home okay and uh on a on a firefighter salary. No, well, listen, I, I quit the fire department and, okay. and we moved up to Santa Barbara. My wife found a house and I says, you know, we can't hide $170,000. How are we going to hide a house? She said, well, you hide airplanes and ships. You can, Certainly we can have a house. Yeah. So, so said, by the way, this whole time you've been with your wife. Yes. Same wife. Same wife. In and out of 60, jail, everything you've been 60, together. 60 years. 60 years strong. But we, we were married 58. But we were sweethearts for a year and a half before that. Yeah, I know how it goes. All right. Yeah. And how much? How much in that plane that you mentioned? How much money gets? Can you? You said twenty five hundred. Twenty five hundred tons. Pounds. Pounds. pounds not pounds. tons. Twenty five hundred pounds. Yeah. I apologize. Yeah. How, what does that equal in terms of what, what the weight that you're moving? Oh, marijuana. Back cocaine? then, I was making from sixty to hundred thousand dollars. I flew it on halves. I didn't like to buy it or sell it or load it or nothing. I would. I would land. Somebody would put it in. I would come up, kick it out. Somebody pick it up and take it to him. You didn't touch it. anything. I, won't, I didn't. I didn't use it, touch it, buy it, smell it, smoke it. So did you feel like you were a criminal at this point, or is it like, look, I'm not even touching it. I'm just a tra- I'm the Uber driver of the trafficking business. Listen, I never felt like I was an, a criminal. I'm an outlaw, 
But we outlaws for many things when you break the law. Now it's not even against the law. After I got out, after all those 30-something years, there was a big billboard that said, relax, we deliver your marijuana to your house. <laughs> I, I think Adam's trying to get ideas. I know, That's what yeah. Adam's trying to yeah, get ideas on how to make that My kind of money. Moves. Who wants to buy that $50 million house in Santa Barbara? <laughs> I did, too. Nice. <clears throat> So okay, so at this time you're you're you're, li- you're living large. Are you partying or are you pretty low key? No guy? partying at you're all. You're not a party. Not a bit. So are no. you a guy that uses the product, smokes weed, snorts not, coke, or not don't, at all? Don't touch it. You don't touch it. You've don't never touch. touched it. It's oh, not I've touched it. I tried, but yeah. I mean, I don't. I, but I'm. Like, but it's not something where I, you're like, I did, hey, since I, I didn't got inhale. It. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Bill Clinton. Well, Biggie said never get high on your own supply. So That's you right. Were just... No, I don't. I'm not a druggie. I don't use it. So if you like this clip and you want to watch another one, click right here. And if you want to watch the entire podcast, click right here.